The roof panels will set on top of the roof rafters and are secured to the top of the wall panels. The edges of the roof panels will overlap each other. The top edge of a roof panel is flat. The bottom edge of the roof panel has a downward bent flange with a screw hole in the center. The left side of a roof panel has been bent into a U-channel with the convex side facing up and the concave side facing down. The right side of a roof panel has an upward facing flange. When the panels are installed, the bent channel on the left side of the roof panel will set over the upward facing flange on the right side of the adjacent panel. Start installing roof panels on one side of the enclosure, beginning with the leftmost panel as you are facing the cage. The left side of the roof panel, the side with the U-channel, will slide along the roof gable between the top edge of the gable and the flat top of the angle bracket. The top edge of the roof panel will rest on top of the roof peak. The flange at the bottom edge of the roof panel should be pushed up against the top of the wall panel and a screw with a 0.6 inch black finishing washer loosely inserted through the hole in the flange and into the threaded insert at the top of the panel. Do not completely tighten the screw. The next panel to the right of the first panel installed will set onto the next roof rafter with the U-channel on the left side of the second panel, overlapping the vertical flange on the right side of the first panel. Set the second panel into position so that the top edge is resting on top of the roof peak, and loosely secure the bottom edge of the roof panel to the top of the wall panel with a screw. The last panel on the right is installed with the right edge of the panel slid between the top edge of the gable and the angle bracket. Move to the other side of the enclosure and repeat the entire process to install the roof panels on that side. The roof peak for the top of the enclosure is just like the roof peak under the roof panels, but there will not be any sections with attached brackets. Lay roof peak material over the tops of the roof panels. Longer cages will have multiple pieces of roof peak that will overlap along the length of the roof. Make sure that the holes in the roof peak line up over the centers of the roof rafters. The roof peak will rest on top of the roof panel flanges, and you will see a gap between the roof peaks along the tops of the roof panels. Insert a 4 inch tightening bolt through the holes in the roof peaks down between the tops of the roof panels and through the bolt hole in the center of the rafter brace. There will be a bolt for each rafter. If the bolts do not fit through the holes in a straight vertical line, the enclosure is not completely square. Push and pull the sides of the enclosure until the bolts are vertical in the holes and can be easily moved with fingers. Once all the bolts are in place, install one hex nut, not a locking nut, onto each bolt from under the rafter brace until it is barely finger tight against the underside of the rafter. Walk around the enclosure and inspect all the places where parts are held together with a screw or bolt. At this point, everything should be lining up pretty well, but if not, push and pull panels to make minor adjustments so that the cage is square and all the holes line up.